Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra What's happening guys, this is Luce Pogger from Fight Division here with Daba De Bailey. Am I pronouncing that right? Perfect. Just to do a check, thank yeah. you. Um, so we are here today at uh, Colliest and Moston in Manchester for the weigh-in ahead of tomorrow's bout. So just talk to us a little bit about what you're doing here today. Have you already weighed in now? Yeah, I just weighed in. Um, just my opponent was waiting for me. I was a bit late, but yeah. I weighed in, weight's fine, feeling good, feeling strong, just ready to go and um, refuel now. Yes, absolutely. So so what is your re uh, refueling process? Is there like a specific meal you have? Do you keep it quite calm? A, a lot of the guys I've been speaking to before they've worked with nutritionists tend to like used to just go ham. So when they'd weighed in, they'd go in and get absolutely everything and they've learned the hard way that that kind of doesn't work for them. Are you a case of um, sort of like a little bit more slow and steady on the refuel now? Yeah, of course. Like I've learned like over time, like, so the refuel, just because you've weighed in, I've made the weight, doesn't mean like go eat whatever you want. I'm yes. still going to keep my diet clean, my yeah. food clean until after the fight. You know? Have you done it the other way around before where you've done it and you've gone absolutely mental and ate everything and then felt awful? Have you learned like the hard way? Yeah, of course. Um, I've been... <laughs> I've been through that like in the, my last fight previously just because I thought, yeah, I made the weight. Yeah. I could just go and just like eat anything running. Yeah. But ne ne when you're fighting the next day, you kind of kind of feeling it. You're feeling yeah. a bit like sluggish and maybe so forth. So now my, my plan is just to keep it clean yeah. from, from today and rest of tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be the same. I'd get too giddy and I'd go all, I'd go all out. I know I would. I'd ruin it. So <laughs> after the fight then, do you have, a, um, do you have any, what's your like favourite post-fight treat? Know what? I want some dessert, you know, after yeah, this sweet, fight. Sweet tooth. Yeah, I got sweet tooth, man. Sweet I want some tooth. dessert, Is man. It like like fruity sweet, so like ice cream sweet or like chocolate sweet. No, what? I'm feeling like a waffle, you know, like you know, yeah, waffle. I feel like a I love waffle, food man. Chat, mate. I love yeah, food chat. I'm, I'm loving a waffle, man, at the moment. That's what I'm waiting for. I can't wait. And I'm on early as well, first. So oh, winner, winner. That's it. So I'm on first. So by a half six, seven. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be getting my waffles. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk to us a little bit about then about the prep up towards the fight. Like uh, again, I've been speaking to a few fighters, and it seems to be pretty split between whether people go all out all year round or whether they do like specific camps and have breaks. How do, how do you train yourself? Are you are you the type to have breaks in between, or has it been like a pretty much straight through camp? Basically, like, this fight now that I'm having now is my first one back um, yeah. after being out for like just over a year due to um, injury, etc. Mm -hmm. Things going outside of boxing. So me coming back now, I've had a break, but normally now after this fight, I will, I will just straight back in the gym really yeah. and just stay consistently. Cause you know, Pat, he has shows every 12 weeks or so, five fights a year. Yeah, so yeah. really mo most, mostly we're in, constantly in the gym training. So you're looking to stay active in 2024 then? Of course, I'm looking to hopefully get like four to five fights this oh, year, amazing. stay amazing. busy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so talk to us a little bit about the injury then. How Are you feeling like, uh, is there any, because uh, Niall Brown, who we've just spoke to, he had quite a bad hand injury and he was out for quite a while as well. And I was always asking the question about like, is there a case of any ring rust or any nerves, like because you've not been in there. Do you, do you feel that or are you just itching to get back in? Yeah, like people say that like, because but you, you look at it like you've been boxing for quite a long time, like through the amateurs, yeah. etc. Like so, the nerves of like the ring rust has actually been getting good sparring, so it's equivalent to like semi, not not like a fight because obviously the fight is obviously different. Yeah. But um, I feel like I've prepared well, so the nerves are not as bad yeah. just due to my preparation. Yeah, absolutely. So oh that, yeah, that's, there's, there's a famous quote. I think I don't know if it was by McGregor, but uh, basically like, action removes doubt. So because you're you're saying because you've kept active like in the gym and training and in the preparation, there's no doubt for for how you're feeling tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is like for me. Like. The more I prepare, it takes away the nerves and because yeah. you know, I'm not able then to go in there and perform to the best of my ability, which I know with that, it'll be enough to do, to perform well and do the Ooh. job tomorrow. He said to do, to do what I was going to say, we're going, because this was going to be the next question, like what are we expecting you to do tomorrow? So if you, if you could, if you were putting a bet on now, betting on yourself, what would you bet? Is it like second round knockout, third round knockout, technical rounds, what are we going for? Uh, it's hard to say because I'm... Um, if it comes, it comes. We never go look for it because yeah. like Pat will never tell us or tell me to go look for it. But if it comes, it's that and I will take it. Yeah. So if I, if the opportunity does present itself to get the knockout, I will take it. Absolutely. And with this being the first one back as well, is that something that you are... Obviously, obviously we all hope for it, like you say, you're not looking for it. But with it being the first one back, that would be extra sweet, wouldn't it? Very sweet, you know. As sweet as that waffle. Very, very <laughs> sweet. It would be very nice to him because my opponent has not really been stopped as well. Like, yeah. not not many people. I don't think anyone has mm. stopped him. So it would be a nice nice thing to do if I could get him out there. Absolutely. Well, listen, we are really looking forward to watching it. I can't wait to see it. And hopefully we'll get that waffle. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Yeah, I've been
been wanted this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra.